This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Now we've done the calculations for benefit and kind for the car, it may be that fuel is also provided. Now, fuel provided by an employer for your company car is an all or nothing. You either have your private fuel provided and pay the benefit in kind, or you put all of your private fuel in yourself. If you make a contribution towards the private fuel, you won't get relief for it. It's all or nothing. Now, in the question, it will tell you exactly whether somebody's getting fuel or not. You're not going to have to decide one way or the other. Now, the amount of the fuel benefit, we don't need a list price. We have a base figure. And that's multiplied by the percentage which we've already calculated. Okay. And again, it says there is no reduction if you make a contribution. If your client's making a contribution towards fuel, tell him to stop or make sure it's a contribution towards the car, not towards the fuel. Now, we're going to have a look at example number four again with the fuel benefit for these five guys. And Fernando pays them £600 towards the cost of the private fuel where the actual cost of the fuel was 1000 so we're going to look at the same situation, the same example again. It might be worth just pausing and looking at example four again um, before we do this. But I'm going to have a look at now the um, fuel costs for that situation. So Lewis, we worked out that his percentage was 28%, only for eight months. That figure is in the rates. Don't guess. Always check. So you multiply the percentage for Lewis, which was 28% we calculated in example four, multiply it by 25,000 and he only had the benefit for eight months. So the benefit in kind is 4723. Nico, we worked out his benefit Percentage was 36. We've multiplied it by the rate, giving us 9,108. Fernando, his benefit, that was a maximum. Do you remember that one? Because it was, was it 53%? Something huge. Multiply that maximum by 25,300. Now, the contribution that he makes towards that fuel is not allowed to reduce that benefit in kind. All or nothing. Jensen was 5% times 25,300, despite the fact that he's not using uh, petrol. And 28% for Sebastian. Um, oh, that should say, that's an error. Do apologise. Please amend your books accordingly and then check that that is correct. I'll leave that with you. That's my fault, I'm sorry. Okay. So that's fuels, fuel and cars. It's very likely to turn up, very likely indeed to turn up. Vans. Now, again, the van used between home and work, um, if it is classed as insignificant, there is no benefit. If it's not, that's the benefit. And the fuel is that. Now, that's in the rate. You don't have to remember that. It's in the rates. As I said before, I will say again, always check if you've got a van. It's given to you. Use the information that's given to you. You don't have to learn it. Beneficial loans. Now, sometimes it may be that um, your employer will lend you money for whatever reason, maybe as a deposit for a house, a car, so that you can use it for, the, for work. It may be for all sorts of reasons. It doesn't really matter what the reason is. It's the fact that they've actually done it. Now, if it is made um, below the official rate of interest and they charge you below the official rate of interest, which is currently 2%, always in the rates, don't check, then it is a benefit in kind. And the benefit is the interest at the official rate, less any you actually paid. 
If the loan does not exceed £10,000, there's no benefit. Anything below £10,000, no benefit in kind. There are two methods. The average method and the accurate method. Do them both. Show your workings. Put headings in your answers. Average method. So that's the loan outstanding at the beginning and at the end. Now, if the loan is taken out or paid back during the tax year, the date is used instead of the beginning. So, for example, 6th of the 4th, 22, 5th of the 4th, 23. You borrowed the money on the 1st of June. You paid it back on the 1st of January. So technically speaking, that's nil, that's nil. No benefit in kind. Sorry, it doesn't work like that. The revenue say whatever it was here and whatever it was there, that is the benefit figures you will use to calculate the benefit in kind and then you will time apportion it because it was only available for a short period of time and any contribution you make to the interest, that will be deducted as well. The accurate method works it out day to day. Um, that sometimes, um, it depends whether or not they pay anything back. If they pay anything back during the year or have more, so the balance alters up and down, then the accurate method would be appropriate. However, if you borrow it, pay it back, and it's the same the way th throughout the year, then these answers will, um, will come out to the same. Now, you have to decide which one, because if you don't decide, the revenue will decide. So if you decide, you will choose the one that's the smallest. If the revenue decide, they will choose the one that's the biggest. Let's have a look at example number six and put this into um, a situation where you can see how it works. So Jack is given a loan, 35000 on the 31st of March, 2022. Interest is payable on the loan at 1%. So that's below uh, the 2% limit. So it is a benefit in kind. 1st of June 22, he paid back £5,000. 1st of December 22, he paid a further £15,000. The remaining £15,000 was still outstanding at the 5th of April 23. And he earns £30,000 a year. We are to work out the benefit in kind under the average method and the accurate method, assuming that he uh, pays, that the, the, the official rate of interest is 2000 It's 2000 it's 2%. Let's have a look at how that looks when we do the answers. The average method. What was the figure at the beginning? And what was the figure at the end? So at the beginning of the 6th of April, it was 35. And at the end, the question tells us that it was 5th of April. <laughs> I can see 15,000, so I wrote 15,000. Wrong. 5th of April, 6th of April. Those are the balances. divided by 2 to find the average, multiply that by the official rate and we get a benefit of £500. Now, he has actually paid, so this is a working, he has actually paid some interest. He paid interest of 1%. Now, what you have to then do is work out what interest he actually paid given the balances have changed throughout this tax year. So from the 6th of April to the 31st of May, the balance was 35,000. He paid 1% on that for two months, 58 pounds. Then he refunded 5,000, if you remember. So between the 1st of June and the 30th of November, that was the balance at 1%, and that's a six month period. £150 is the amount of interest he paid. Then he refunded 15000 from the question. 
So from the 1st of December up to the end of the tax year, the balance was only 15,000 and he paid 1% interest on that. And that's only a four month period. So the benefit for that, the in, sorry, the interest he paid for that is 50 pounds. So the total interest he has actually paid needs to be deducted. And that would be a working. Please show all the workings. Show all the calculations. If it's been through your calculator, it needs to go down on your paper to show the examiner what you've done. You, you may make a silly little mistake. You may write down 35,000 times 1% times 2 twelfths. And instead of writing 58, you write 50 for some reason. Now, you're not going to lose a mark for that because you got this correct. So please, please show your workings. So the average method, we end up with a benefit of 242. If we use the accurate method, now we've done half of the work for that in the first part. If you work out the accurate method, what was the official rate times the benefits, the balances as they change, you end up with £517 worth of interest that is payable. But he actually paid some at 1%, leaving 259 now his benefit in kind. And he will opt for the accurate method. No, he wouldn't. He says it would not opt for the accurate method because it's the highest. There's very little difference. 242, 259, those are um, the two um, different benefits.